Good morning, Sonora High Wildcats. In preparation for the return to on-campus instruction with the hybrid model that starts next week, we have some information for you. First, we need to talk about COVID symptoms and what to look for. Here are the symptoms of COVID. Fever or shaking chills. Cough. Difficulty breathing or shortness of breath. New loss of taste or smell. Sore throat. Muscle aches or body aches. Nausea, vomiting, or diarrhea. Or when in combination with the other symptoms. Nasal congestion or a runny nose. Headache. Fatigue. What do you do when you have a symptom? You're gonna stay home. If you got a symptom, tell your parents. Have them call the attendance line. You can still do distance learning. If you've got a symptom, what now? To come back to school, you need a negative COVID test or a doctor's note with an alternate diagnosis, or you need to isolate at home for at least 10 days since symptoms appeared and be symptom free for 24 hours. To keep coming to school in person, we need to keep each other safe. We do that by washing hands frequently, wearing face coverings, cleaning items we touch, and maintaining six feet of social distancing the best we can. While you are on campus, it's important to stay six feet apart from each other as much as practicable. This helps limit the number of close contacts people have. Inside of your classroom, students are expected to maintain six feet of distance from each other. Each day you're on campus, you need to be symptom checked. We'll do that at our hero stations. When you come on campus, find a hero station. One member of the hero station team will ask, do you have any COVID symptoms today? and take your temperature. The second member of the Hero Station team will scan your ID card and print you a paper receipt. It's important that you hold on to your receipt for the whole of the school day. Every time you enter a classroom, your teachers are gonna to wanna to see it as proof that you've been symptom checked. There are eight Hero Stations throughout the campus. You can see them highlighted in green on the map here. If there's a long line at one Hero Station, please go find another one. Here's what your heroes at the hero station will look like. Please look for the vest specifically. 
Please remember that you need your pass to get into class. Always hold on to it. If you lose your pass, you'll be sent to the attendance window to get a new copy and get symptom checked again. After you've been screened for symptoms at the Hero Station, we will scan your ID card in order to print you your receipt. If you have last year's ID card, we ask that you bring it with you for quick screening. If you don't have an ID card yet, we can print you a temporary ID card from the back of the attendance window. The very best way to get your ID card scanned is to download the Hero app. To download the Hero app, open your Chromebook. Do it now. Go to https colon backslash backslash access dot heropowered.com. Select the student's icon. Create an account. Enter your school email address and choose a unique password. Make sure that you confirm the password. Then click Create User. Then you should see a box like this. Click Add Student. Select No for the question, did your school provide you with a secure key to access? Now, enter your student ID number, date of birth, and last name. Then click Add Student. Once you've created your account, you can download the Hero app for your mobile device. Once registered, search for Hero K-12 within the iTunes or Google Play stores. Download Hero Students. It'll be a blue app. Use this app to keep track of hero behavior and to make sure that you have your ID card for symptom checking. We cannot wait to see you next week. We're very excited to see you again.